Okay, here's video part two. Sorry about that. I don't know if I pressed a button. It's a new phone. I don't know if I pressed a button or what I did, but it shut off or maybe it cut me off because I'm using the 4K on the iPhone 6S Plus. So let's go ahead and turn that off. So basically, um, and I'll go ahead and recap at the end. So we've discussed the 14 gauge, the 16 gauge on the Sterling Silver. And what else do we have here? We have, let's see. Okay, we have, um, sorry, what I sell is if the customer requests a 16 gauge, I'll do that in the 16 gauge. This is a bit more expensive than the, than the 18 gauge. The, this one right here, solid sterling silver, a quarter inch in width. On this one, this is the 18 gauge. That one, I totally misspoke on the other one, so sorry. So correction, the other one, again, no, I didn't misspeak, I didn't. The only thing I misspoke about was that the one that I sell in my shop is the 18 gauge. Unless the customer wants this one, I can certainly do a custom listing and it is a, a bit more expensive than this one here. Um, probably by about 20 bucks. So on the 18 gauge, this one right here that I sell in my shop, it's 1.214 millimeters. Okay, so again, let's go ahead and look at the pliability on it. And we're using it as a, as a cuff. So... You want to use it as a cuff. That's how it looks on the wrist. Let's compare it to the width of a penny, the thickness of a penny. It's a little bit thicker than a penny. It does hold its shape well. And this is how it looks to, uh, with the ballpoint pen. Let's go ahead and weigh this. Let's see how this looks. This what I found through, the, through my customers. They like the weight of this. They like the thickness. Um, it's you know it has a nice weight has a nice thickness and the weight of that one is 10.56 so for the 18 gauge 10.56 grams and let's go ahead and switch on over to the 3 8 I want to talk about the 3 8 18 gauge the wider you get it's gonna feel more substantial it's by that I mean it's gonna be a little bit harder to bend because again you have more surface area you know, the thinner you get, like if you have like a real thin one, uh, one eighth, I have a real thin. Let me get that real quick. Okay, here's a, a one eighth. This is aluminum. So the, the less in width you get, the smaller you get width wise, it's gonna be a little bit easier to bend. And again, this is aluminum. But my point is, is this, you get more strength, just like when building a home. If you have, if you use a two by twos or two by fours, you're gonna use the two by four because that's it's gonna be, give you more surface area, it's gonna give you more strength. And the same goes along with the metals. Um, even if you probably went down, like I showed you to the 16 gauge here, the, Look at it's the way it's easy. It's not that easy to bend. It takes more force. And this is a little bit thinner, so it's gonna take less force. But when you look at the width and you take the width into consideration and sticking with the same gauge, the 18 gauge, it makes it harder to bend as well. Okay? So you have more forces working against you, the wider you get, etc. So let's go ahead and weigh the three eighths, 18 gauge. How much is that weigh? Let's go ahead and tar that, zero it out. The weight of the 18 gauge is 19.36, uh, three eighths. So I'm writing that down so I can review and recap at the end. So 19.36. So we've gone, oh, I'll recap everything at the end so I won't repeat. So that's how that is on the wrist. And that's the thickness of the 18 gauge, okay? And there's this one and there's that one, okay? So, and here is the half inch. Let's look at the half inch. This is 18 gauge solid sterling silver half inch. Now I carry all of these same widths and in four different metals. I carried in aluminum, brass, copper, and solid sterling silver. So here's the 18 gauge and it's wider and that's how it's like pliable, you know, metal. It's gonna have to be, have pliability so it can, you know, bend into a cuff. Let's weigh this out. This one weighs, that's a heavy one. That's a 21.73 grams. So a half inch is 21.73.
Okay, so we've talked about gauges and widths, and we've seen how much they weigh. So we that gives us a little bit more information on the metals itself. Here's the penny test. Okay, that's how it is in comparison to the penny. And let's go ahead and just for grins, look at the 16 gauge again in comparison to the penny. It looks about the same or a little bit bigger. You can be the judge of that. Um, I'm wearing my contact, so I can't really see that close. I'm far sighted. I mean, I'm near sighted, not far sighted. So there's that one, 16, 18. Okay. So we've talked about gauges and widths. Now, the other thing was why are why was this so bent? I just wanted to do a test on my flimsiest uh, throwaway piece that I had in stock. Again, this is like a 20 gauge or even a 22 gauge. It's really, it's a really thin one. It's my throwaway piece, okay. So let's look, let's look, do these metals break even at this lightweight? And again, I do not use this gauge in my shop unless the customer requests it. Whatever you want, if I can find it, I'll get it for you, custom made, we'll do it. Hey, not a problem. But I wanna show you on this one, look at the durability. And I've already bent this a lot. Question, here's the question, does this break? That's the question we want to bring. That's that's the, the what we're testing the hypothesis, the experiment that we're doing here. Does sterling silver break? Well, it's not breaking. Okay. Again, this is a 20 gauge that I do not use. A 20 gauge is let me look at the chart. Is 0.9 millimeters, right? So we're bending it like crazy. I hope nobody does their cuffs like that. Not even if they're mad at their boyfriend, huh? So we're bending it, right? We bend the heck out of that one. These are my nice ones, very expensive pieces. I do not want to mess with these. These are not my throwaway pieces. I don't want to touch these. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at the aluminum. Okay, here's another throwaway piece. You know, sometimes I don't know how stamp is going to come out, so I test it on here. Aluminum 14 gauge. Remember, this one weighed 4.06 grams. Let's see how this one bends. Okay, let's bend it real hard. Let's see, does this break? And it's really lightweight. It feels crazy. It feels really crazy light. It's the weight of four paper clips, right? Four paper clips. Let's wiggle it and jiggle it around. Bending it again. Let's bend it backwards and forwards. Mm. See, and it starts getting metal hardness. Metal hardness is the more you work with metal, the harder it gets to work with. It makes it hard. In other words, you kind of give it muscles. So when you move it and move it and move it and move it, sometimes that's possible. Look, it can crack, but you have to, you can see here, look, one. I've already cracked, I mean, I've already bent it like 30 times before doing this. I did, I did it with my mom as an experiment. Here we go, we're bending it, look, look. Okay, and these are meant to be cuffs. They're not toys, they're not, you know, a tool. These are jewelry cuffs. I don't think we, any of us will do this. I think this passes the test as, does aluminum break? So you get a lot of bang for your buck with aluminum. It's fairly inexpensive in my shop when I sell it for to you, hand stamped. A lot of work to be involved to hand stamp and make it straight and oxidation it's a great metal you know it's weight it's it's light and weight but don't let that fool you it's light and weight but hey it works it does a job it doesn't break okay feels like it may some some of you may feel like it can break but it, it doesn't break i'm gonna do another test after that one we did the sterling silver here let's do that one we'll bend it five times for time's sake here we go one two three Bend it real good. Four, five. There we go. Not breaking. Let's let's just bang them together. How many of you have dropped your jewelry on the floor? Your gold rings, your silver rings. Look at that. Let's play the banjos with this. It's not breaking. It's not breaking. So just want to show you they're really durable. Okay. Okay. Just one last test that I want to show you on the durability. No matter how thin. They are on this aspect. Well, let, for let's be real. Well, let's be real specific. Twenty gauge is not breaking. Fourteen gauge is not breaking. Okay, light heavier, light and weight heavier. Let's go ahead and do one last test. Let's see if I can switch this camera around. Let me just grab it real quick. Excuse the pause. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to do this experiment like this. Okay. So here's a nasty little workbench, but it does the job. It's really great. Okay, let's see if I can. Okay, so I'm gonna hold it with one hand. Here we go. Same ones that we were playing with before. Here's the 20 gauge or 22. I'm not sure what that one is. Here's your handy old what one two pound hammer. Let's see. It's 
knock these around here. Let's try that again, all right? Let's do that thing. There we go. And there we go. Let's go ahead and hold that down. I don't see that breaking. I don't see that breaking. Let's stick them together and see what happens. Well, that's not breaking either. Yeah, that held up pretty well, I'd say. So yeah, um, doesn't look like it breaks to me. All right, so um, you know, anything is possible, but I think it's I think we've done our job as far as experimentation goes, proving that my aluminum and sterling did not break. I'm sure the outcome would be the same for brass and my copper because I use really high quality pieces. Okay. And we can also do that experiment too. But I just wanted to show you the difference between the lightest weight that I have and some of the heaviest weight of metals that I carry. Alrighty. So if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to ask. Uh, all of my specs are listed on my policies. If you want to see more videos, please go ahead and um, subscribe. And also, you can search YouTube under Blue Corner Designs. Hope this has been helpful. Have a great day.